Continuing forward with some of the options that are available to us with VI, we can also perform pretty flexible searches. And we can only do searches in command mode. And the context is very simple. We're going to use front slash and then the string that we're looking for. Now in addition to just doing a search, we can search from cursor back or from cursor forward. We can also go back to previous occurrences or next occurrences by using in and shift in. We can even do search and replaces by using the syntax listed here. So for example, we'll go back and take a look at how we can use this. So let's say for example I want to find EX and I can continue to go to next instances of that by using lowercase n. And let's say I reached the end of the file or I've gone too far, I can use shift n to go back up the other direction. Now if I want to replace EX with uppercase EX, then I can simply type in the percent %s forward slash EX with uppercase EX. And as you can see, I made six substitutions on six different lines. And just to go back and see what changes I made, I can navigate through the file and it will be highlighted for me. Now in addition, I can actually use wildcards to search for individual values where I might not know exactly what they would be. So, for example, if I want to search for scenarios where the word is at the beginning of a line, then I can simply use the syntax as shown. And there you go. It managed to locate that and replace it on line three. So this should give you a pretty good idea of some of the options that are available for you when performing searches and replacements.